Uh, uh, the moment where this uh, uh, this balloon landed not far from Denver International Airport was dramatic. Uh, our, our affiliate KUSA put together this. Looks like a mushroom just floating there. And it was circling as it was coming down, kind of like a parachutist would be as you see him landing on a field or something during a ball game. When it was getting close to landing, I just took off about a half mile run to get to the scene because I wanted to be there when this little boy was found. It was just this really eerie feeling when you got on scene because all these rescue vehicles had shown up and it was real dusty because they had driven into this field and they start pitchforking it and using a shovel to, to deflate this balloon. And once they deflate it, they're yelling in, into the balloon, hey, it's we're, we're here to help you, we're here to help you. And they use a pocket knife and they, they cut open this this bottom part of this balloon and they open it up and it's like this cardboard round circular thing and there was no one in there and everybody just kind of stood there all these rescue personnel about 20 rescue personnel were just standing there with a, a look of bewilderment they really had no idea what had just happened it was one of the hardest things for me to see um, that we'd followed this for such a long ways from Larimer County, Weld County, into Adams County, no, thinking that there was a six-year-old boy that was in this, and then when it lands, there, there's no boy here. This is CNN Breaking News. He's alive uh, and at home right now, that little six-year-old boy, Falcon, we are now being told by the Larimore, Larimore County Sheriff's Office, he has been found and he is okay. Great, great news to report. We don't know uh, how this happened, whether he ever, in fact, was aboard that runaway balloon, whether he was simply hiding out in the neighborhood or at home. But the Larimer County Sheriff's Office is now telling us that little six-year-old Falcon is alive and at home. Wow. A really, really exciting news. Tom Foreman, uh, I'm thrilled uh, to, to be able to report this to our viewers in the United States and around the world because I, I think all of us were totally fearing the worst. Oh, yeah. This, I'm, I'm, I'm rather speechless by this because this, to have this whole drama play out today, un, unbelievable, Wolf. I think the real question... Right, let's listen to the news conference sure. now. Attic in the garage in a, oh, in a box. Sleeping, crying. I, I don't know. You know... That's it. That's all the information what I have. What said about them seeing him in this, crawl into the box attached to the balloon beforehand. Do you believe that they were telling the truth when they gave those statements? The, the brother? Well, again, that was a seven or nine-year-old boy that told us that, but that's what he said, is that he saw his brother climb into that apparatus, and he was very adamant. They, they interviewed him multiple times. Uh, and that was his consistent story. So we're not part of a reality TV box. show. <laughs> I'll leave you that conjecture on your part, but I understand what you're saying. Tell Sheriff, will you, be interviewing, will, you, you, will you be interviewing Falcon separately from his parents? I'm sure that the investigators will be interviewing him and finding out what occurred, sure. What do you think? Yeah, I, I don't want to con I don't, I don't make a conjecture, but this is not the first time when we've been involved in searching for some child, and once a child realizes people are looking for him, they hide because they're afraid they're going to get in trouble. Uh, I can't tell you how many times this has happened over the course of my career, and uh, you know, I think the, the thing that was confusing here is that we had the eyewitness that said that he climbed into this apparatus, which clearly was not the case. Have so. you talked to the parents since he's been found? Do you know, outside of relief, what their reaction was? Again, we just had a 30-second conversation with the investigator on scene just to confirm that he was there and he was alive and he was okay. So. Yeah, we'll be getting that information, but I don't have any more right now. Sheriff, where was the box? In the attic or in the garage? That's what I'm told. It was an attic in the garage. Attic in the garage? Above right. The garage. Yeah. Okay. How'd he get up there? I'm sorry? How'd he get up there? I don't know. I get, I, I've told you everything I know, folks. I'm sorry. Thank you. Thank you. Is he on the restriction? <laughs> Until until the next storm comes through. Jesus. Here. All right, so there you have the great, great news. Uh, little six-year-old Falcon is alive and well at the family home in Fort Collins, Colorado, according to the sheriff. And you just heard it here in the Situation Room. Sheriff said he was hiding out in a box 
in the attic of the garage at the home uh, and he says it's not all that unusual when a little six-year-old boy says uh, does something he thinks he's going to be punished for it. he goes ahead and hides out one of his other brothers suggesting uh, that he had been in a box or a basket that had been attached to this runaway balloon it seems that was not the case because little falcon is alive and well you saw the happiness the smile uh, that that sheriff had in reporting that information to all of us because for the last several hours I can't tell you, I'm sure all of you, uh, all of us here at CNN, we're deeply concerned about the fate of this little six-year-old boy. Uh, but the great, great news, Tom Foreman, uh, who's covering this for us, uh, you know what? Uh, this is what we were praying for, that he was just a little boy. He was scared. Oh. He thought he would be punished, so he decided to hide out. He found himself a box. Indeed, wasn't the box uh, at that, uh, uh, from <laughs> attached to that balloon. It was a box in the attic of the garage. Yeah, yeah, that's one of those things that, that searchers always hope for, of course. I mean, the whole big, we're talking about the whole big search area being entered from here to here. As Chad pointed out, 100 square miles. This is where he turned out to be, right back home in his own neighborhood where the balloon took off. So, uh, boy, Wolf, that's a nice finish to an awful story at one point. Yeah, we were so scared, and I'm just so thrilled to be able to tell all of our viewers it's over with. The little boy is just, just fine. Uh, and we're thrilled to report that. I know Jack Cafferty is thrilled as well. Jack, you and I and Tom Foreman, we've been covering these stories for a long time. Uh, and so often there's not a happy ending. But uh, you know what? Uh, we're just thrilled that this little boy is just fine. Oh, absolutely. I mean, I've got four daughters. And you can certainly relate as a parent to, to having one of your kids turn up missing. I'm curious, and I suppose we'll find out at some point, what that object was in that still photograph below the... Uh, below the balloon. We still don't know what that is. Yeah, it could have been a speck of dirt on the lens. It could have been some birds. It could have been anything, but uh, thank God it wasn't a little falcon. Uh, right. He, in fact, was hiding out in the attic uh, of the garage, uh, and he's just fine. Uh, six-year-old boys will be six-year-old boys. I wonder who's going to be more relieved in that household. The little boy, when he finds out he's not in trouble after all, or his parents, who found out he was hiding in the attic all along. Should be a pretty happy time in that household tonight, I would expect. Yeah, we want to meet this family and just celebrate together with them. I'm sure all of our viewers do as well. Yeah, great story.